Hello students. Today we're going to learn about chapter 6 circular motion. How to learn outcomes for today's class. The first one describe uniform circular motion and the second one define centripetal acceleration. So, what do you know about circular motion? Can you give a few examples of them? Ferris wheel, roller coaster, solar system. Uniform circular motion is defined as a motion in a circle at a constant speed. Let's say we have an object which does move with uniform circular motion as shown at the top left. The length of a circular arc S is given by S equals to R theta. Now, what is tangential velocity? It's directed tangentially to the circular path and always perpendicular to the radius of the circular path. In uniform circular motion, the magnitude of the linear velocity of an object is constant, but the direction is changing. The unit is ms negative 1. Correct, it's moving clockwise too. It's defined as the acceleration of an object moving in circular path whose direction is toward the center of the circular path and whose magnitude is equal to the square of the speed divided by the radius. You can use either these two formulas to calculate the centripetal acceleration. The direction of centripetal acceleration is always directed toward the center of the circle and perpendicular to the tangential velocity. For uniform circular motion, the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration always constant, but direction is changing as the object moves. Let's watch some video about the circular motion. The net force on the object is called the centripetal force. It's a weird sounding word, but it's Latin for the phrase center seeking. It's named centripetal because the centripetal force always points to the center of the circle. The ball has a tangential velocity, so if you suddenly cut the string, it would fly off in whatever the tangential direction was at the moment you made the cut. But assuming you don't cut the string and you keep swinging the ball, the ball's tangential velocity is constantly changing directions. This means the ball is accelerating, and the reason it's accelerating is due to the centripetal force. The centripetal force acting on the ball is constantly directing the ball towards the center of the circle, your hand. This, combined with the ball's velocity, keeps the ball swinging in a circle. The same centripetal force that keeps the tennis ball swinging in a circle also keeps roller coasters on the track as they go through a loop-de-loop. -loop. So the next time you're having a blast on a roller coaster, you can thank the centripetal force. It's time for trivia question. Correct. The answer is D. Question number two. Thank you for your time. See you next time.